Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Amazing Bacon. I'm back with a request today, and we're going to jump right into it as soon as the intro's over. All right, so just to jump right into this request, this was a request by Edgar Pena and Daniela Victoria, and on my Alex McMillan post that was a cover of Paper Cut by Linkin Park, um, they said, hey, if you think that Alex sings just like Chester, you've got to check these guys out. Um, honestly, I'd never heard of them before, and they are known as D Park, and it looks like, according to the screen, it's uh, Demetrius Papasinos and Roma Kafir. I have no idea what these guys sound like. Uh, I'm just going based on the suggestion. I didn't check out any of their other videos. Uh, this was the main video on their channel. And since it's dedicated to Chester, I figured what better way to look at a song where they sound like Chester than one that's dedicated to Chester. So without further ado, this is D Park with Memory, which is dedicated to Chester Bennington. All right, so, I mean, obviously with being a song dedicated to Chester, uh, this is about their feelings and their connection to him. Um, I will say I can definitely see, like, that, that blew me away whenever I first heard the voice, because it did. It sounded just like Chester. Um, as far as a, a possible critique on the song itself, and I'm only saying this just because I'm wearing these headphones. I don't know if it sounds the same over a speaker, but the... Music seems to be like up here and the vocals down here. So I feel like maybe it could have been mixed a little bit better. Like there's just kind of some confusion uh, there. And I feel like maybe the uh, the tempo to the words is a little bit off from the song. And I'm definitely going to be checking out other songs from D Park. And I could be completely wrong. This may just be, like I said, either because of my headphones mixing the sound itself or because of the way that they were intentionally trying to get this to be conveyed. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll listen to the rest of the song. That was just something that I picked up right off the bat. But yeah, I mean, as far as the way that they sound, like Edgar and Daniela, like so far, yeah, that sounded like Chester. Like I said, it, it took me aback at first whenever I first heard the vocals.
All right, so I don't usually do this, but I, I really did enjoy those vocals, and so that's why I definitely I want to check out more of their music. Um, and I want to just go ahead and do it right now because there's a lot of times I always say, hey, I'm going to check out more of their music or whatever, and I never get a chance to or I don't get a chance to react to it. So just right here, we're just going to check it out. Um, let's see. Mike Shinoda, Mike Shinoda, Tears and Promises. All right, let's listen to Tears and Promises. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Because, yeah, I, I so far, I, I'm loving his, his vocals. Uh, and I think that, yeah, this is insanely close to Chester. So I want to hear more. I like that pace change because it started out like slow and emotional and stuff like that. And then it picked it up and it was like, it's upbeat, but God, yeah, th those vocals like that's, that's crazy. Like that sounds like Chester singing and my mind doesn't know how to process that. All right, so um, well, I'll just let me play through the last couple seconds real quick. Okay, so the reason I was kind of pulling my headphones away for a second is I still feel like the the music is very very overwhelming to the vocals. Um, and I, I don't think it's my headphones that's doing that. After I edit this and all that stuff, I'll listen to it. Um, but, yeah, as far as that goes, my complaint about the initial song, about the, the tempo to the words being a little off from the music, um, I almost feel like maybe now that that was intentional, uh, 
just because that's how anxiety and stuff feels sometimes is that things just aren't lining up the way that they're supposed to. And sometimes it feels like you're in a rush when the world around you has slowed down. And so I, I feel like given the subject matter of the song, maybe that was intentional because this was spot on. And uh, aside from that audio mixing level that I brought up, man, like that to me sounds like if Linkin Park would have came out with an album after One More Light. Like, it just, it fit right into that flow. And I know that that's what they're going for because it is inspired and a tribute to Linkin Park and to Chester. Um, but yeah, that, that was crazy. Like, he, he sounded just like Chester in basically any way possible. And the only question that I would have is whenever I reacted to the Alex McMillan video, he proved that he can scream like Chester. His screams are a lot closer to Chester than his singing is. Whereas with D Park, the singing is there. I mean, it's spot on. It sounds like Chester. But my question is, can he scream like Chester? Because that's where people have trouble trying to match what he could bring to the table. Is he could sing like an angel, but scream like a demon. So it's a hard range to hit. Um, maybe he does another songs, or they do another songs that they do. I don't know. But uh, overall, God. damn, like that was good. And, uh, you know, Edgar, Daniela, I appreciate you suggesting that to me. And, uh, yeah, if any of you other guys have any suggestions or anything like that, you guys know this is the part of the video wherever I tell you that right down there in the corner, if you click on that little subscribe button, you can subscribe, tap that little bell, you'll get a notification every single time I upload a video. And if you guys have any requests, any comments, anything like that that you would like to put down below, then please do let me know. And actually, one thing I would like to leave you guys with is if you've watched my Alex video and you've watched this video, I'd like to hear your opinions on which one you think sounds closer to Chester because it's not just my opinion that counts. I want to know what you guys think too. So until next time, this is The Amazing Bacon, and I will talk to you guys later.